A group of dedicated riders will spend three days this week cycling through the Barossa Valley as part of fundraising efforts for spinal research. Among them are former Crows player Brent Riley and ex-Australian cycling coach Charlie Walsh. But the event has also brought together two men involved in one of football's great tragedies. Neil Cross has the story. Neil Saxe likes to say he met Kevin O'Keefe accidentally. It was more than 40 years ago on a football field they were on opposing VFL sides when they collided and Saxe has never walked since. I wanted to move on with my life after my injury and I hope everybody around me did the same so that's why I've embraced Kevin. It always rears its head and they say, oh, were you involved in that, you know. Uh, so that's there all the time. You don't ever stop thinking what would or what wouldn't, you know. That's just part of everyday life. Really appreciate it. Uh you being here. Everyday life for Saxe has been running the Neil Saxe Foundation for Spinal Research. In the past five years, O'Keefe has joined him in organising a bike ride to raise money. I think uh, the more we get together, the stronger bond is forming. An avid cyclist, O'Keefe and Saxe are part of Project Discovery, with a goal of raising a million dollars for new technology to give a better insight into the damage caused by spinal injury. With this new imaging system, they'll be able to see first hand and be able to give a diagnosis straight away. So it'll take away that, uh, that waiting time so people can get on with their lives earlier. We're looking at not just the structure of the spine with most current technology and imaging, but actually to give us an idea of what's functioning or what's not functioning, to guide us in our treatment, to sort of give us feedback. Saxe's ambition is to have the technology in place by the end of next year. A Melbourne resident, O'Keefe has already raised more than $40,000 and joins 16 other riders on a three-day journey through the Barossa to add to the money pool. I know that a lot of people have uh, felt bad about my injury, but I don't want them to do that. And, uh, by him coming across and helping, I think he feels part of the whole thing. And I hope he enjoys the ride and the experience. It's not a burden for me. Uh, Neil's made that clear right from the first time we met. Um, He's been exceptional in his attitude, he's been fantastic. I have sort of didn't think I'd achieve much, but the longer it goes and the more things that happen, the more th positive things that seem to be coming out of it, so it does give me some sort of pride that I've achieved something, yes. Accidental heroes, both of them. Neil Cross, ABC News, Adelaide.